why can't magnets bend light? The short answer is that only charged particles like electrons or protons are bent when traveling through magnetic fields. Electromagnetic radiation is made up of uncharged photons, so is unaffected. There are two caveats, however. The first is if you had a ridiculously strong magnetic field, like those near neutron stars called magnetars. This would warp space itself and the light would follow that curved space. But in this case, you wouldn't be directly bending the light, and you would be dead anyway. The ultra-strong magnetic field or the astounding output of X-ray and gamma-ray radiation from a magnetar would kill you. The second caveat is that individual photons, especially at high energies, may undergo what is known as pair production to create an electron and its antiparticle, a positron. These pairs can be scattered by a magnetic field, but you couldn't detect this without special equipment. Although a magnetic field doesn't affect the photons of light directly, a magnet can distort the medium through which light passes and thereby bend the light rays. Light travels through space-time along a geodesic, the shortest possible path between two points on a curved surface. In places where space-time is flat, the geodesic is a straight line. If a massive object curves space-time, light's geodesic will appear curved to a distant observer. A strong magnetic field can increase the effect of the mass of the object on the curvature of space-time. This effect is significant only around huge magnetic bodies, such as neutron stars. In these cases, the magnetic field increases the curvature of space-time and so affects the geodesic of the light rays. An electromagnetic wave has three vectors traveling at right angles to each other, an electric field, a magnetic field and the direction in which the wave propagates. So it is perfectly reasonable to wonder whether external electric or magnetic fields could bend sunbeams. The electric and magnetic vectors are either stationary or can rotate in various ways about a propagation axis. It is these behaviors that determine the light's polarization properties. External magnetic fields alter these polarization states rather than beam direction, as demonstrated by Michael Faraday in 1845. Magnetic fields can affect light, even though electromagnetic radiation like light isn't charged, so a magnetic field shouldn't be able to change its direction.